Fight when it's worth fighting. But you need to understand the costs of this, and I'm going to explain. When you allow yourself to be triggered, your nervous system takes over, and you're going to react as if it's a life or death moment, even when it's not. So let's say in the moment you choose to fight, and not physically, but rather in the form of an argument. You've decided that you're going to really let this person have it for saying or doing whatever they've said or done, right? Well, that decision, it comes with consequences. First, your body's going to release stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol into the bloodstream. This brings you to a heightened and anxious state, which can last for four to six hours after the perceived threat is gone because it's activated your sympathetic nervous system. In fact, this state of anxiety and agitation can actually last for days if you continue ruminating on the event, which I think a lot of us do, right? Not only does this impact your time and your energy, prolonged stress levels have also been shown to weaken your immune system and even lead to chronic disease. And look, I get it. Not challenging an offensive statement can sometimes feel like you're letting someone off the hook. There are times when standing up to fight to argue that is the best course of action. But I'd also argue that most of the time, the best thing you can do for yourself is to walk away from these potential fights or arguments because you know 